Greetings from Coney Island, Brooklyn. I love New York. And here is a waterside view as we approach the one and only rickety classic fun to ride cyclone roller coaster. This is located alongside of Regalman Boardwalk at West 10th Street. And you can see there are a lot of great fun opportunities, including, there it is. There is one of the Nathan's hot dog shops. The original one is right across from the subway that brings you here, which is either the F or the D train. Let's take a walk over. So you can go from Brighton Beach to Coney Island, but when you're here, don't miss the opportunity to ride the Cyclone roller coaster. It is a July evening, right before 11 o'clock p.m. And I heard the rickety wood shaking and the brackets cracking as people rode the Cyclone. Now I have someone who has ridden the Cyclone. I gotta say, it's a must. Well, there they are. It is a must. Is it the best roller coaster I've ever ridden? Yes, in New York. It, 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 it gets that. Um, you know, Coney Island is a bit of a, it's a throwback pleasure. And keep in mind, Vino's Wonder Wheel is a separate from Luna Park. And so when I came for the first time to ride the Cyclone, uh, I looked at it and I thought, well, gee, it looks a little bit small. You know, I've been on roller coasters that flip you upside down, rock you back and forth. <laughs> How is this one gonna stack up? And I must say that the wooden roller coaster aspect of it is what made it really enjoyable and that's not gonna be really easy to explain um i almost want to shake the camera <laughs> i mean you are all of your senses are activated when you ride the cyclone because it does it rocks you back and forth it shakes you around and when you are up at that location you can see all of Coney Island, you can see the water, and then you drop. <laughs> uh, so again, your senses are very much activated, and I highly recommend it. Now, when I rode the, solo, the Cyclone roller coaster, my mom, who grew up in the Queens area of Brooklyn, I called her, I said, oh, mom, I made it to Coney Island, and I rode the Cyclone roller coaster, and she said, don't ride that. <laughs> When she rode this uh, prior to uh, my generation, uh, she said that she felt that it was uh, rather rickety at that point. And uh, maybe she didn't feel safe. She's not the biggest amusement park person. We did go to Disney, and uh, so she does like amusement parks, but I don't know, the cyclone was not something that she was excited about her children sharing in the experience. Just one perspective. So ultimately, it's not the, oh, there we, oh, here we go. Now you can see what I'm talking about when I say the wooden roller coaster. When you're on a wooden roller coaster, these wooden tracks, they'll buckle as the salt water will actually change the flatness and the curvature of the track and that's what makes for the bumpy ride and I believe that there is a group of people going up right now and so that's where you get your rickiness from the fact that it is a wooden roller coaster now modern roller coasters will hold you here upside down and have you look they just throw you right over
And you can hear them screaming, probably because they think the roller coaster is going to fall apart. And it also looks like they're being thrown into the ocean. All in good fun. And it is pretty fast. We'll say that uh, for it. Now, for riding the cyclone, you do not have to get a one day pass to Luna Park. Uh, you could just walk up and buy a ticket specifically for. Sorry, you can't record this ticket. You can walk right up and just buy a ticket. And this is a landmark. So not only am I talking about the history, it is officially been landmarked. The American coaster enthusiast recognized Cyclone as an ace roller coaster landmark, a designation reserved for rides of historic significance. <laughs> Have to agree with the coaster enthusiast. It is definitely significant. And here it is, $10 to ride the Cyclone. Uh, sometimes the letters are not all there but the ride is all in good fun. This is located at Surf Avenue at West 10th Street. And if you are here, actually before we go in, I'll let you know how to specifically get here. If you take the D train or the F train to the last stop or first stop, if you are a Coney Island resident, this illumination to the right is the subway terminal. It's only $2.75 from Midtown Manhattan. The Empire State Building will take you about an hour to get here if you are visiting New York for a vacation. But don't miss your opportunity to ride the cyclone. Till next time, happy summer from ever beautiful I Love New York.